Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video review for Breaking Bad Season 5, Episode 6. This one is called Buy Out. And did you guys see the preview for next week's episode? Man, that was just such a badass moment right there. If you guys haven't seen uh, this episode, by the way, this will contain spoilers. But uh, just when <laughs> Walter's like, you know, says to, uh, let me see, I wrote down the guy's name, Declan. You all know exactly who I am. And then Declan's like, you're Heisenberg. You're damn right. <laughs> that was just, uh, that was awesome, man. I think that uh, Walter White, Heisenberg, is getting to the point now where he's so badass. You have to kind of like put him in the same categories as like those infamous badass dudes like uh, Al Pacino from Scarface and The Godfather and, you know, all those other like, you know, big time you know, crime boss, villain type guys. The only thing with uh, with um, Walt is that he doesn't have too many guys under him. Like, he hasn't built that empire yet because he's been through so much and everything that's been going on around him, having to uh, you know, overthrow Gus and all that other stuff that he hasn't been able to do that yet. But still, he's definitely got the attitude down. He's got the intimidation down. He's got the attitude down. Uh, and, you know, in this episode, we get to see some crazy stuff happen. So uh, probably the most crazy is that Walter is so... Uh, or I should say Heisenberg now, because I don't even think he's really Walt anymore. You know, he's crossed over. Like, using the name Walt really, you know, he, he's not really Walt anymore. He's Heisenberg 100%, you know. And this episode pretty much shows that. He's got uh, Mike, of course, has got the gun. Walt doesn't have his gun on him. So he ties him up using, like, some kind of big zip tie or something to this, um, what was it, like, uh, some kind of heater or something. And uh, he actually uses the cord and, like, burns his skin, like, here, that because that's how bad he wants to get that methylamine. I mean, wow, man, you know, the, the like, Mike kind of says it, too, you know, I've never seen someone work so hard, um, you know, not to get $5 million. It's just, it's a crazy thought, but then you sort of get that development with him at his house when he's talking to Jesse, and he says to him that he... Um, was part of Grey Matter, and there was only three of them in Grey Matter, which the other two characters we met earlier on in the series, and they haven't been back for a while, because uh, they're kind of irrelevant now anyway. They really don't, you know, um, they probably won't even be back ever. Um, but either way, you know, that flashback sequence and, and when they went to their, um, their that get-together, Skyler and Walt went to that get-together with them, when he first got the cancer and everything like that happened, I think it was in season one, maybe season two, Probably, yeah, probably season one, I'd say, actually, now. We find out in this episode that he actually sold out his share, um, so three three shares, basically, for the ownership of Grey Matter, which he came up with a name for, and he was the most gifted of them all. And, um, yeah, he sold that out for $5,000, and the company now is worth $2.6 So, you know, Walt, it seems like, to me, has learned his lesson to the point where he doesn't want to be an employee anymore, period, for anybody. He wants to be, you know, he wants to be the owner. He wants to be the entrepreneur in that sense where he wants to own everything. He doesn't want to have to work for anybody else. Now, granted, if you get $5 million, that's end game anyway, but it just seems to me like he sort of got that thought in his head that that was a huge mistake and that this would be the same kind of thing if he did it because he'll be able to turn this methylamine into, you know, not 5 million, he'll be able to turn it into hundreds of millions uh, because obviously he can produce the best stuff there is, period. And he can sell it for probably whatever he wants to because no one else can produce as clean a stuff as, as he can. So, that's that. So I think that that all feels natural and makes sense. But I was still surprised by you know him willing to to burn the uh, the wrap and everything, and um, you know just to get out of there, and burn his hand, and just to you know the business really is all he has left. And and but at the same time, you kind of think like this wouldn't be such a bad out for you, uh, Walt, because if if you took the out here, then you could get five million, assuming everything goes okay with that. You know your kids could move back in. You could. Probably Skyler would probably forgive you for everything once you're out and you're done, you know, and just have that be it. Like it's an out for him. And he's just changed so much to the point where he's 100% Heisenberg now. He can't just stop. You know, it's really all he has left and um, he can't switch off. Uh, also, another really interesting scene. I mean, there were so many in this episode, but is when uh, you have Jesse and he's feeling sorry for that kid who got shot by Todd. Um, and... You know, 
Walt basically tells him to go and that he'll finish the cook. And then, you know, Jesse's kind of walking by. And, and even after this kid's been killed and everything, uh, Walt is just like whistling, you know, like like he's just happy, you know, doing what he's doing. And it, it's kind of crazy to think that, um, you know, he was uh, like all this stuff just happened. And then he goes right back to work and, and he's whistling and happy and everything like that. Or at least he seems like it, like as if none of it bothers him, you know, even though he did say he wasn't able to sleep for a couple nights. But you, you get the idea of what I'm saying. It was just, you know, it really shows this episode probably shows the most um, evolution uh, of Walt and Heisenberg into Heisenberg, from Walt to Heisenberg, than probably any other in the series. Um, aside from when you see the plant lily of the valley and some of the other things he's done. But this one really shows because he has the opportunity now to say goodbye to Heisenberg and go back and just be Walter again for a little while until the cancer comes back and have his family be set, everything like that is good and, and his goals would be accomplished and everything. And, and when Jesse's trying to talk him into it and telling him all this, you know, he's just like, uh, basically it, it comes down to which side is more prominent now. Is he Walt or is he Heisenberg? And, you know, obviously his decisions show that he's crossed over, man. He's Heisenberg and there's no going back. So, wow, I mean, really exciting stuff to see what's going to happen here at the end. But definitely uh, Heisenberg and <laughs> Walter White going to go down as one of the most badass characters in, uh, in ever, I think, personally. <laughs> uh, okay, so just to sum it up real quick and go through all the events of the episode so I hit on everything. The beginning we had a really cool montage of, you know, the characters burning the dirt bike or, um, you know, melting the chemicals and, you know, just... Man, like such a mixed emotion type thing to see. And then, of course, you see Todd in the dump truck and you just see that little hand. And, man, that was just like really like extreme mixed emotions. Just like so sad and at the same time just like so angry at uh, at this character, Todd, for what he did. And Jesse can't even take it. He punches him in the face <laughs> while they're smoking and calls him Ricky Hitler when he goes inside. It says Ricky Hitler there shot him. Um Mike warns Todd if he ever points a gun at uh, at a kid again, you know, he'll shove it up his ass. That type of, that type of stuff. <laughs> so so that was all you know. Really kind of um, kind of an emotional type of scene there uh, with the montage and everything. After that, we get to see Mike uh, being tailed by the cops in the park with his granddaughter, and he leaves the uh, the fu note. <laughs> that was really funny. I like that a lot. Mike's a really badass character. I'm glad they kept him around after season four, because I didn't think they were going to. Uh, then we see Skylar crying with uh, Marie, which we saw in the preview for last week. And actually, that one didn't turn out too bad. It, I'm kind of like at the point now where I'm kind of cringeworthy. Every time I see Skylar, I just like, I, I just like, ah, I have trouble watching it because she just, I hate her so much, you know. Um, I just hate her so, so much that it just makes me kind of just cringe, you know, at... Um, at that, you know, just watching scenes with her. But she she did all right there, though. It seemed like it was a close one, but then she seemed to accept what, uh, you know, what Walter had said and kind of be shocked at the same time, kind of be like, you know, it seems to me that like she feels like F you, Walter, to be telling them that, you know. Um, man, she could, be, she could be the end of it, really. In the end, Skylar could be the one to screw it all up, I really think. Uh, I still think so. Cringeworthy, though, for me to even watch any scenes with her. Um, okay. So Mike, uh, had three DEA tails that he was able to lose and he's, they're chasing him like all the time. Um, Jesse, uh, says that he's out too. That was a, that was a huge thing right there. Like WTF, WTF, WTF. I was just thinking in my head, like, I can't believe that Jesse's calling out. But then when he explains it, it you know, it makes sense, you know, cause when they started off and, and they keep going like this, something's going to happen. They're either going to get killed or they're going to get caught, or, you know, something's going to happen. So Jesse wants out. Five million is enough to, you're set for life if you do that. And I can't believe Walt's going against it. But, you know, um, it's going to sell the methylamine. Phoenix is not competition, meth business or money business. And Walt says he's in the empire business. Um, so Declan says no deal, wants Walter to, basically Heisenberg to stop, period. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. So that was all cool. Um, 
Walt won't sell out. Talks about gray matter. Really cool to hear about that. I really uh, liked how they explained that because that was something I was kind of wondering all the way up till now is, um, you know, with gray matter, what exactly happened? How much money was involved? And, you know, like how much are they worth? What did they start with? And it seems to me like they sort of, like Walter was really the genius behind all those patents when they were in the process of getting them worked on. And one of them, or a couple of them, maybe struck and, uh, you know, the company blew up. But it seems to me like Walter was really the genius behind that. And, uh, you know, that echoes the real world a lot of times, too. You know, in the real world, you have uh, business owners, okay, and uh, managers and stuff like that. But those guys aren't the ones who are really developing, you know, the stuff. Like scientists in the labs are the ones who are developing this stuff. But at the same time, you know, those scientists, because they're in the labs developing whatever, working, a lot of times the guy that profits off it could be, you know, just the manager or the owner of the business who in terms of intelligence is not like couldn't even, you know, shake a stick at the guy who's uh, the scientist who's actually doing something. Um, like in comparison, you know, he, his IQ is probably 50 points lower than the scientist. But because he made the right decisions to, you know, start the business or do whatever and maybe had the courage to do it uh, as an entrepreneur was a, is takes all the credit for it. You know, and that's kind of what it's like when you're working as an employee. Unfortunately, if you're an employee, you know, you do all kinds of great work. But the person who takes credit for it is the owner, okay? Or if you work for a bigger company or something, shareholders, stuff like that, if, you know, whatever's going on. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so I think that that's kind of interesting that Walt just, Heisenberg just refuses to be on that, you know, employee type side or, or even to take a buyout or anything like that, you know. Um, anyway, so going on from there, the funniest part of the episode, of course, is uh, Jesse's they're eating, din <laughs> eating dinner with Walt and Skyler, and uh, he starts talking about, like, he, like, he just gets nervous, so he starts talking. At least that's the sense that I got. This was a hilarious scene. I was laughing all the way through. The funniest part had to be Skyler getting drunk, and, uh, and Jesse says, like, hell yeah, I'm stoked for this freaking lasagna or something like that. <laughs> that was just awesome. Uh, going on from there, we got to see Saul with... Uh, uh, Mike uh, talking to the police, just trying to lay them, get them off them for a little while, uh, get the, rid of their tails for a little while. Um, let's see. And then, of course, everything goes down between Walt and and Mike. And Walter literally burns his hand getting the stupid thing off and, um, you know, takes the methylamine out. And then the episode ends with a super exciting scene where Mike rushes in, points a gun to his head, and is, like, ready to pull that trigger. Wow. And then Jesse says that he's got a plan where he can get his methylamine and, uh, or, or we can sell out and he can keep his methylamine. So we'll see what his plan is in the next uh, episode. I'm, uh, I'm really excited for it. I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. I thought it was, in terms of character development, getting to find out a lot about, uh, you know, how we stand between, you know, Heisenberg and Walt. And that Heisenberg really has taken over as his main personality. You know, uh, Walt really is kind of dead, I mean, in a lot of ways, you know. I mean, if you think of the Walt that started as the high school teacher that was, you know, doing all that kind of stuff and just living the life that way and gets cancer, to now he's become Heisenberg. He's not Walter anymore at all. So anyway, um, that's pretty much all I have to say uh, about this episode. I loved it, and I am still stoked for next week's I mean I am stoked we have uh, two episodes left this summer and then there's going to be a, a break until next summer summer 2013 and then we'll get to see another eight episodes so it's not that bad you know it's not like we're right at the end yet you know we're going to have probably it looks like they're doing it the way I wanted them to which is if they're going to split it into eight parts like like eight this summer and eight next summer which is what they're doing um because there's 16 episodes for season five overall. So two more this summer, and they're building up to obviously like kind of like a mid-season finale, but it, it sort of like is a season finale. It's kind of like season five is not really 16 episodes, it's eight, and then season six is another eight. But uh, either way, um, really stoked to see the end of the show, the end of the series, um, and it's one of my favorite series ever for sure. And I, man, the way this is going to all end at the end of uh, at the end of this summer, next two episodes, I am really, really stoked for. Going to miss Breaking Bad until next summer, but hey, you know what? Uh, we could always watch this season over because it's so exciting and just so 
Like there's just so many things happening um, that uh, it's really going to make the wait for for next uh, summer uh, kind of a long one because you want to see it. But at the same time, this way we get to sort of you know reflect on everything throughout the year that happened in the first few seasons and the first half of season five, and then we get to see the final you know half of season five next summer and the uh, finale of the series. Been an awesome series, man. Uh, one of, definitely one of my favorites ever. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, let me know what you thought about this uh, episode. Let me know what you think about uh, Walter White's development from that high school teacher, Walt, to totally Heisenberg now. Man, very interesting stuff. Later, guys. Peace.